Grand Rising, Wonderful Souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot, the Stay Timeless Collective Reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you are an old one or if you are a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back, Soul Family. Hearts, kisses. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Thank you for your emails. Um, I appreciate them all. Um, please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, male or female. I'm picking up on the energies. It's really up to you whether or not you assign a gender. You don't have to. And if you do, please do not make the story fit if it doesn't. Oh, I've got my back pocket. That's annoying me. Oh, random stuff. Let me just take them out. Please know that I am not a professional in law, finance, mental health or physical health. So if anything comes up in those areas and it really is confirmation for you and your own personal story, please ensure that you are reaching out to someone in the appropriate fields to gain guidance and advice from them before taking any from me. And let's crack on. I'm going to be ringing this bell. This is just to um, cleanse the space for us. So if you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now. Okay. I really don't like that the camera is cutting off the top of my head, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to just move it for one sec. Boop. Hopefully that will do better. Yeah, that's better. Now I just need to move you a little bit. Thank you. There you come. I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I want to start off with you over here. Let's see what wants to come out. And I've got the song in my head. Um, Dumb ways to die. It's not so many dumb ways to die. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. Right. Let's see what wants to come out. What do we need to know today? What do we need to know today? Oh, a judge. We've got judge coming out. And it says balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. You also have gossip and you have avenger. Interesting. With martyr on the back. So gossip says... Uh, thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. This is, I feel like this reading is going to be looking at the conversations that happen within a, in a courtroom or between um, somebody who is sitting in the judge's seat and someone who has lied. And they may, the judge may have said that you thrive, someone here thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, not you, whoever it is that's standing in front of this, this, um, this judge and betraying confidences. And then you have, um, resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Okay. So someone is being definitely being pulled up on, um, why do I want to say ABH or GBH causes? Armed robbery. I and mean, then you have Marta at the bottom, and Marta says um, addiction to self-pity. So someone's definitely going uh, uh, going forward, wanting the judge to see them as being the victim or them being easily led, and the judge going, no, I don't believe that in any way, shape or form. I think you thrive on the power of passing on private or secret information and betraying confidences. If this is betraying confidences, with the judge saying something like that, is this somebody who's an official person? Is this somebody who is held high in the community? Is this somebody who is, um, I don't know, in a police department or a county clerk? Something along those lines. Whoever they're speaking to, um, either they don't expect them, they didn't expect them to do something like this, or they've painted a picture of themselves being, um, setting a character of themselves that is not who they actually are. Underneath we have um, athlete, Misuse of athletic ability for selfish needs, false sense of invulnerability and entitlement. So yeah, this is a very entitled person, a very entitled person. Let me show you these. So the judge, the court, didn't, the court case did not go the way that someone thought it would. Daddy will pay it off or something along those lines. They were expecting to get a tap on the wrist and they won't. They will not. I'm going to pop you over here. So what was the name of the cause then? Let's find out what they were doing. I'm going to pop them down there. I don't want to take any more out. So what were they doing? Let's see. Who is it that has been... Who is it that's in front of the court? Who's in, in front of a judge right now? Could be a family member this could be a, 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 a family of people it may not just be one person they may be looking at one person at a time ancestors has come out here so you may share ancestors with this person or you may have spirit realm 12th 12th is the angels 7th is gurus ascendant masters 
So this could be somebody who is spiritual, maybe, or this is someone that your guides were trying to point out to you who they are to stay away from them. Ten of Michael. And it says here, so this is in reverse. The situation has not ended and they are, they are not free. They don't have new opportunities for happiness um, and they will they can't put the past behind them. So they've done something out of a grudge and now they've been, they're stuck in something. Because you, it's your lucky day and you're having new resources of money, time and support. A change in job or promotion coming to you. Okay, interesting. I'm going to take this one out, turn it upside down. I remember... Tell me more about what, what are they being taken to court about? What was this, you know, resorting to violence in the name of a cause? What was the cause? What was the cause? What was the cause? Please and thank you, clarity. Clarity. What was the cause? Okay. So, justice. Something illegal. They were doing something illegal, without a doubt. With the help of someone in the police force or with the help of a, a military person or with the help of somebody who should know better is what i'm hearing you have the king of gabriel you have the perspective and you have queen of raphael coming out so that's the queen of cups and the queen of pentacle and the king of pentacles with perspective in the middle justice says fight for justice so they weren't fighting for justice and equality rulings did not go in their favor and they have ha they've got to give up they've had to give something up and here, with the King of Michael, wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. They may be getting advice. Someone here is getting advice. So this is almost like, it's giving me the energy of like, um, what, what is the film? The Departed. Where you have two people who went to the same um, academy. One of them becomes like a mole to go into like gangs and the other one becomes a mole to go into the police force. And I'm getting the energy of them being Matt Damon, the, the, the mole that goes into the police force, but is really relaying things back to someone else. And I don't know who just yet. That's why they thought that they just get a slap wrist. They thought that there's something about them. If they ever got in trouble, that it would be it would just go away and it may be because i don't know if they are like the son of the chief of the police or so, i don't know um but it's giving me that energy of them feeling like they were untouchable because especially with that card of athlete coming out here with that full sense of invulnerability and entitlement being there so the first one that came out about the cause the cause was something to do with um the queen of raphael in reverse so this is a very cold and calculated person this is someone who um hurts others who purposely hurts others who doesn't follow their heart, who does not love home and family, and is not a trustworthy psychic um, informant in any way, shape or form. And then you have here, King of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic and driven in reverse. So this person was not keeping their eye on the big picture and they, they were obsessed with the smaller details. And they had a lack of experience in whatever it is that they were working on and they didn't give a crap about other people because it says genuine concern for others. They really didn't um, and experience at least a success. The reason why they failed is because they over they overlooked something when it came to the law and perspective. There's a better way. Pause for a reflection, for a reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So I don't know what they were doing here. There's something here about, especially with injustice in reverse, or justice in reverse. Excuse me. What were they doing with, and Chamuel, Archangel Chamuel is the Archangel for your solar plexus is where the inner child works or lives. There's something here to do with children, runaway children that came out in my last reading as well. And you've got Eight of Michael, Eight of Swords. And this is, this is trapping children, trapping vulnerable people maybe. You can be free, make courageous choices to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. That's upside down. They knew exactly what they were doing. And the judge sees this. They know exactly what they were doing. I feel like there's more than one person here. But I feel like there's more than one person that's been going to be... They're either It's either happening now or it's about to happen. That is going to be brought up to um, whatever. You know when they sit in front of the judge. I can't remember what the name of that is. There's two people but they're not being tried together. They're being tried separately. Got the world coming out. You've got three of Ariel, that one there, I can see you, that one, new beginning, 
in reverse and the magician in reverse the wild archangel michael a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight someone here was thinking that this is i think i feel like this is a carry on this is like a part two from the reading that i've just done because there seems to be um something with vulnerable teens or or, or children teaching them to do certain things that are illegal with the idea this has given me culty vibes a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight whatever they were doing it's almost like um a fake orphanage or a fake school for troubled teens or whatever that may be um where they were supposed to get spiritual growth and insight but they weren't getting this they were to told that they'd be protected and whoever it is that's coming up is acting like they are pious they're really acting like they're pious um you then have the three of Ariel in reverse. So I'm going to read it in opposite, okay? This is a time of no great personal growth in career or artistic endeavours. And they won't work with people in a cooperative manner. And they don't, they hate what they do. Someone, so that's the masculine. This person hates the job that they do. So they don't like being a police officer. Or they don't think they get paid enough. Um... And they don't, they refuse to give more information. It's like they're taking the fall for something bigger, for something a lot bigger. Because you've got new beginnings in reverse. So this is the ending of a new life. Wow. They are not, they haven't found their purpose and they do not forgive. They do not have a forgiving or compassionate review of the past. Someone is holding a grudge, holding a grudge because they lost everything, everything. Because they can't manifest what the life that they want. What they need won't magically appear and they have no successful beginnings. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I don't know if I showed you those two, so I'm going to pop them up just in case. Because I just heard, rat me out and I'll rat everything out or everyone out. So there's some sort of conversation. I don't know. I feel like you have... Um, a feminine energy here, a queen of Raphael, queen of wands, in, a queen of cups in reverse, excuse me, to the king of Gabriel, which is the masculine and the feminine. And that's irrespective of gender. But this queen of Raphael, this queen of cups, is pretending to be some sort of martyr. And, you know, they didn't know and they were kind of guided into it when really they, they were equal partners with someone. Or they went to this police officer or whoever it is and was like, do you want in? Seven of Gabriel, they this is in reverse and this is stands up so it's not standing up for what you believe in not having confidence and not claiming your power but that is what this queen of cups in reverse is trying to portray that they didn't have the confidence or they didn't feel safe enough to stand up and be like this is wrong i don't want to be part of it knight of gabriel time to take um action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing what to do and the empress they were targeting an empress they were targeting the empress they were going to do something time to act upon your plans creativity is, is rewarded luxurious and abundant resources i don't know if this is like a kidnapping trigger warning or if this is an unaliving i don't think it is um but there's something here about collecting people it's weird yeah this empress here with a new beginning in reverse they didn't want someone to have a new beginning this is literally this is like a really um intricate case because it it connects so many people it's not just one person who is nuts who you know wants to take out insurance on someone and then off them no there seems to be a lot of layers to this which is why this king of gabriel this police officer or somebody who's already part of the government in some way or a government official or something along those lines um they're being they're having their cases separate even though they are connected because there's other things that need to be there's other things that need to be done as well and i think they're keeping it away from each other there's other there's other people that they're going to catch out they were going for an empress archangel gabriel this is somebody who's very connected to their um to the water element you don't have to be a water sign to be connected to the water because that is emotions that's your dream time someone who could be very psychic or have um, very busy astral goings on um, someone who gets a lot of downloads you could be very intuitive if you class yourself as the empress you could be a gemini or you could just be very good you could have a very strong throat chakra um this is also because on here i'm answers that come through meditation 
someone here is a light to others. They wanted you quiet, but they wanted to take they wanted to take someone here. The Empress is someone who's very beautiful or very, very striking, someone who's very grounded. They could also be an earth sign. What else do you need to know about this? Five of Ariel. And it says you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. This person, this um, King of Michael wanted to reach out. Before they were caught, they wanted to reach out. There was something about being a fake friend. You don't need to go through these challenges by yourself. Help, help is nearby. You know, don't worry about it. I'm going to be here to look after you. When really this person was, they had nefarious intent. And I, I don't know where the evidence is. It may be from children, people they've collected, whatever's going on. But thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. Someone here ratted out the other one and thought that they were going to go scot-free or that they were going to get a much more reduced sentence, and they haven't. And I feel like it's the Queen of Pentacles has ratted out this King of Michael. Mm, mm -hmm -hmm. Decision is upside down. Someone didn't make a decision on what. And it was in reverse. So this person has not released themselves from what holds them back. Um, they are not detoxing, so this person could be on... I don't. I feel like it might be the King of Michael rather than the Queen of Raphael that may have a substance abuse issue. And they are very, very worried because of their... It's, it's not even to do with a lack of self-confidence. This person... Because it says unnecessary worry based on lack of confidence. And this person is not un underconfident, this King of Michael. This person is worried because they're now realising that the Queen of Raphael is a snake. And they will do anything to ensure that they end up on the top. But they didn't expect the judge to go on so hard. This is linking into the other the other reading. Because the other reading that I did was talking about how um, there was a high priestess in reverse. This janky high priestess that was really shocked that a court case didn't go in the favour of this um, King of Michael. Or didn't go in the, in, in the favour of this um, main male. They expected it to. And it's because it's connected to you or someone in the collective and your energy is too pure, your energy is too protected. So they weren't able to um, mess with somebody's mind map or mess with someone's mental energy or do some sort of um, court case spell where the judge is looking at this Queen of Cups as a martyr or is that this King of Michael as having nothing to do with it. Because look, it says again, your, wor your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt or worry to your angels. There's definitely been this energy of intrusive thoughts or intrusive energy being sent to someone's mental scape. I don't know. Maybe the judge is a God-fearing person. Maybe they are, you know, very connected to the divine. We don't know. But it seems that they, the, whoever the judge they've been given, they can't mess with this person. They can't mess with that person's energy. They can't. They can't put something over their eyes. I'm seeing like little shields being put on their eyes with like a shape and then they can't do it. They can't do it. Oh no. Oh dear. The lovers in reverse. This person wasn't making choices from their heart. They were not. This was very shallow emotional commitments and there's no power of love here. There's literally none. This could be someone's ex. Or well, this could be connected to someone's ex here. Yeah, you have someone who's very bitter. They're very bitter. Eight of Gabriel. Because something was blocked for them. It was just shut down. Whatever they were doing had to be shut down. Or they got raided. And it was shut down really quickly. And they were blocked. Communication was blocked. I feel like communication was blocked between this King of Michael and this Queen of Raphael. So they can't, that may be why they're having all of their interviews separate. They're, in, they're being put in the most separate cells as possible for holding. So they can't collaborate or they can't, you know, get their story straight. So they say the same thing. And then they're even having their cases separate. Anything else I need to know? Please, I can see. Four of Raphael, seek out other possibilities, look for the magic in life, be aware of your own emotions. And then the Ace of Raphael is upside down, which is a negative, old emotional experience. It's not a fulfilling romantic relationship and it is a shallow and short-lasting spiritual insight. 
they've got a lot of um like cups coming up now yes it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once follow your creative passions this king of michael i don't know if this is an ex or if they were working for an ex or they're connected to an ex in some way they were trying to come in as some sort of legal advice or some sort of like, I'm a police officer, you can trust me. And we all know with looking at, you know, I'm not saying that you cannot trust police officers, but it wasn't that long ago that we had a police officer in the UK who um, essayed and then unalived somebody who was in distress. And it took how long before this person was arrested? This person was an absolute psycho and they wore a badge. Now, I'm not saying that all police officers are like this in any way, shape or form, but this person definitely was not trustworthy. And I don't know, maybe your guides moved you away from this person. There's something that stopped them from being able to come forward. And I feel something was sped up. Something was sped up as in an investigation. All of a sudden they got information. They're like, right, we're going to go do a raid. We're going to go and arrest this person. Because if they hadn't have done that, then this King of Wands would have had that movement that trajectory to come towards someone here and be like, come with me, I have puppies in my car, that kind of energy, and it didn't happen. They got caught. Three of Gable, yeah, they got caught. They literally got caught. They could not move. Prosperity arising from wise planning. So this is in reverse. They cannot take the next step. They do not have optimistic plans that because nothing turned out as they thought it would. Nothing turned out as they thought it would. Because there's nothing better waiting for them. And because they, they didn't do what they knew was right. This is definitely not a spiritual quest. Now, you've got to remember that my readings are timeless. So this could have just happened. This is about, this is happening now. Or is it just about to happen? I do not feel like this is far off as in months and months and months and months down the line. I feel like this is going to, this is happening soon. And I know soon is very subjective. You have to take it as it resonates. But time is only linear because we make it linear. You know, everything's happening all at once at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. someone here is they've got it who's the ex then who is the ex okay all right calm down who is the ex oh so we've got an ex that's moving towards you the ex is number seven so this is lies deceit truths coming through archangel metatron determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others this ex is somebody who wants to be seen in a certain way they're definitely moving towards you. Or they may be running away from a warrant or running away from being arrested. Queen of Gabriel's coming out. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. And then three of Michael, release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. You have an ex here of some sort, ex-friend, ex-lover, whoever, who is upset that you are thriving while they're not. You're thriving while they're not. That's wild. Because you've also got the six of Raphael, but it was in reverse. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. Someone was moving on completely. Completely. They were moving on to a new exciting challenge and they were trying to block this. They wanted someone to take the fall for them, but solutions came out. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Someone has closed the door and not just slammed the door and locked it and been like, F you. They've closed the door, no matter if it's soft or hard, you know, they've, they've shut it. They've locked it and they've gone, do you know what? I'm forgiving this situation because I'm not taking this energy with me. I don't want to take it with me. And Archangel Zachiel's there. Archangel Zachiel is the Archangel of um, the Ultraviolet Flame and the Violet Flame, which is a very purging, very cleansing, very protective energy. And this is the reason why something was sped up and information came forward that was, was put in such a good timing to grab this King of Michael, to grab this Queen of Raphael in reverse um, before they could do anything else, before they could even communicate with each other. Ace of Michael, and it says, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with each other. So it wasn't a good idea. They did something that wasn't a good idea. They were planning something that wasn't a good idea. And I heard someone's got the receipts to show this. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents very thoroughly. Okay. So this, I don't feel like this is just like kidnapping someone. This was getting somebody into, um, to sign some sort of contracts, to sign something away or to, to put, stick somebody else in that driving seat that would get in trouble. Almost like the scapegoat. Search for meaning in life in reverse. 
they weren't considering another approach and they they wanted to surround you with with people who were not wise teachers or friends and this was an epiphany that someone had already and they thought their plans were working out really well they thought they were going to get professional financial success and they thought they were using their resources wisely but somebody somebody messed up change your life is upside down they've been blocked from all information they don't know what the police know they don't know if the fbi are in in or the cia i heard are involved because this is very big i heard it's some sort of ring there's some sort of ring that they are part of and they wanted to have somebody to be the full guy which was you or someone in the collective it says here they can't they can't break free of procrastination and they are not embrace they're not embracing opportunities that change brings because the thing is the change that's coming is just them being imprisoned four of michael in reverse yeah they are not getting any insight from quiet meditation they um will have as much sleep as they want because they're going to be sleeping in a small cell and they have no relief from stress oh my goodness gracious well that took a turn didn't it did not expect it to take a turn like that so what was the gossip because someone here is brought in someone it is the queen of cups isn't it and someone else someone they were teaching they were expecting to get some sort of payout or they, were, they may have gone in like i want to get a payout or i want to get a reward or something along those lines and they just got more they got interviewed more and more and more and it's like well how do you know all this stuff how do you know that so and so in this department is doing this this and this how would you know unless you were part of this and then they may have been detained and, and I, I know over here it's they can only detain you for a certain amount of time before if they do not arrest you they have to let you go so they may have been monitoring this queen of Raphael in reverse here yeah because they didn't get nothing they didn't get anything I was going to know please and thank you oopsie daisy main male in reverse false person so they were trying to um they were trying to pin something on a genuine person and on somebody who was not the main male which will be either you and this police officer yeah you or this police officer with a message of concern yeah they went in stop it they went in with a message of concern saying oh i wondered all about this and blah blah, blah. And they're like well how would you know any of this how are you concerned about this how do you know about this this person had too many holes in their story it didn't make sense so they held on to them look held on to them journey in reverse and this person was trying to play at being self-piteous you know being this um this pious lady especially just coming off as the queen of cups this person is a master um manipulator they're very good at you know putting the tear the, the tears on but someone weren't, weren't having this they weren't having this and by the time they got to court or they're going to court this judge is not gonna they're not eating any of that they're not interested what else we need to know anything else before i go marriage and toilet and labor in reverse and wealthy man this person, this Queen of, of Raphael may be already known to the court system, a bit like the family courts. There may be um, some sort of custody battle going on with a child. There may have been some, someone may have complained or they may have made a message of concern against this Queen of Raphael about how they're looking after their child or neglecting their child. They may have had CPS or Child, child Protective Services or, you know... <clears throat> whatever they're called in the country that you may be watching from um they wanted to be seen as a privileged lady people already had concerns here you've got wealthy man in reverse adjudication you have a police officer who knows something about monies or inheritance or something that is owed to um, a main female and remember that is and they've got high priest or high priestess up here money that is owed to them and there's solutions coming through adjudication it's going to be sorted out there's like i feel like there is multiple things happening or multiple eyes or multiple um departments watching both of these two because there's a lot of stuff that they're involved in and there's lots of other people that they're involved in there's money that's been stolen there may be people moving around happening there may have been attempts to unalive or you know or kidnap or whatever that may be these people have been 
busy. They've been flipping busy. Bruh. They have been so flipping busy. Oh, okay, you have to come out, but you don't want to show yourself. Let me go grab them on set. Courtship upside down. Someone here feels very rejected and they don't like it. They feel very rejected. You've got here concern upside down and mature woman. So this person was acting really blasé. I'm getting that this is the queen of Raphael in reverse. This mature woman with a six. This is either a charity worker, somebody who, um, I don't know, there's something about them not wanting to be seen to be taking handouts, but then they were stealing money. They weren't too concerned about what? What were they not concerned about? What were they not concerned about? People, ah, uh, you've got the Queen of Cups coming out again in reverse. They weren't concerned, they didn't think that anyone knew. They thought that they had a really good mask. And I don't know what happened when they were interviewed the first time, or when they were, whether they were interviewed like they came in because they were called in over concerns over their child, or child abuse or child neglect, and then acting, trying to act in a way that was what they thought was natural, and they were like, this is weird. And then them coming in, they must have thought that they had got the wool over, pulled the wool over someone's eyes and like who was interviewing them. And they came back trying to then pin something else on a genuine person and this um, police officer. And they were like, that don't make no sense. How would you know this person? Why are there so many you know holes in this, um, I was going to say in this plot, in this story? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in other words, this Queen of Cups in reverse has literally dug their own grave. Yeah, got the Hierophant in reverse. They're trapped in something. So if this person is a high priestess or high priest, they have blocked. They have blocked their third eye. They have no um, way of checking to see the progress of any spells that they may have tried doing. Anyone that they may have tried paying. It's like they have been locked off altogether. It's like having. Um, like being an X-Man and then all of a sudden you are just a human being and you can no, you no longer have super strength or you no longer can read someone else's uh, mind or you can't walk through walls anymore and it's just very disconcerting like that's something that this person has done for a very long time is spell work or mind manipulation or gaslighting or succubus whatever and if they've been cut off and now they feel like well what do I do because where they didn't think that anybody was knowing what they were doing well, they were being watched the whole time. And they're literally now trapped in um, 3D. They're trapped in the 3D. They, they, can't, they can't connect with anyone. Anything else that I need to know? Yeah, they're trapped. Yeah, this person is trapped. Got the nine of wands coming out. They were trying to do this to a high priest or high priestess. They really, really were. And Ten of cups come, has come out as well the six of chalices this person's been holding a grudge against a high priestess for a very long time a very long time because this high priestess has um has mastered something mastered something that maybe they never thought that they'd be able to this high priestess has been um or high priest or high priestess be that you or someone that you're thinking of has been a target for a while And I heard shut up about it. Yeah, you've got the four of of um the four of wands coming out, so the six of wands, but the four of wands is in reverse, the queen of swords. They've been like giving orders for a very long time to unbalance someone. They wanted you uprooted, they wanted you to feel unbalanced. Um so that you were an easier target, so they could get you. Not of chalices, they were messing with someone's money as well. And they've been stealing someone's money. They were celebrating that, that no one knew. They thought they were a ninja. And they're now coming up against a judge who's just like, cut the BS. I can see everything that you're doing and it doesn't work with me. This pity party doesn't work with me because we've got evidence and what you've been doing, how you didn't look after your child, how you were targeting someone, you know, some random person, be that you or someone in the collective, how you're doing ABC, all of the fingers that you've had in the pies. Oh, 
I heard a plea bargain. They may try to get a plea bargain. And look, lovers is coming up. So someone's ex is definitely involved in this. Someone's ex is definitely involved in this. How? How? Knight of Swords to the Seven of Wands. So the Knight of Swords is about rushing in or doing something hastily, you know. The Knight of the Knight of uh, Swords is one of the fastest knights in the deck, and then you have next to it the Seven of Wands. This is competition. Somebody here was. I don't know if they they weren't egging on the they were egging on the fight, but they were doing something. What what, what was their role in this? What was their role? Two of Pentacles. So this is a transition. You've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. And you have temperance they were there's something here about trying to mess up someone's um ability to heal themselves or to it's almost that card of miser to uh, miders to miser and this person being very obsessed with money or wanting someone to fail when it came to a job they had they were trying to mess up your job and there's there may be proof of this oh when it ended or like there's some sort of rejection here so you could have ghosted them they could have ghosted you and they decided to get revenge they decided to get reject revenge and they were trying to get themselves out of some sort of hot pickle or some sort of tight spot yeah and they acted very rashly and very deceitfully to put someone in con continued oppression continued oppression by doing something very very illegal and very um mum's the word they done it very quietly they were collaborating with this this queen of Raphael and this king of michael as well they thought it would get them out of debt i heard they thought it would get them out of debt they thought it would get them out of the devil energy and they were watching to see whether or not this was working something was yeah you got the emperor in reverse you were supposed to stop You've also got here um, the Knight of Chalices. It was supposed to block not just you, but someone else. It was supposed to bring um, a death. It could have been an unaliving spell, but I'm getting also, it was it was a strong unaliving spell, a strong one. But they did something else. They helped plan this. They helped plan something to kidnap someone or scare someone or whatever this was. They knew where you used to live. They may not know where you live now. But they're involved as well. They're going down too. They're going down too. Whether or not they were aware that what everything was happening or whether they were just turning a, a blind eye, they are also getting caught out. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Mm -mm. Right, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love you to hit my like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, Soul family, stay awesome. Please do not get um, please do not get scammed by people in the comment section pretending to be me or someone else. My handle is the Cove one one one. So if someone is speaking to you and their their handle says the Bromley's Cove Tarot, it's not me that you're talking to. Just block and report them. Don't give them any of your lovely money. That is yours. Um, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye bye.